Get my revenge! Astra and Yuma are going to pay! They may have defeated me, but our new battle is far from finished. Next time, I'll crush them once and for all! <laughs> all I require is the strength. And if the ancient Varian legends are true, then I'll definitely find that power here in the darkest depths of the Great Varian Sea! Yes! This is it! The sacred resting place of the Great Varian Deity, Don Thousand! I offer you my life force in exchange for your great power. Discover the locations of the seven Metherian numbers. Seven Metherian numbers? Retrieve them and we will be unstoppable. If that's what it takes to defeat Yuma and Astro, then consider it done. Now, your power, give it to me! As you wish. Your life belongs to me now. In exchange, I will infuse your being with my power. From this day forward, you and I will be as one.
Did that vision come from the past or the future? Oh, a map. Could it be connected to my vision? This could be the end of Barian World! It would take an incredible force to destroy an entire world. But that's exactly what's happening! Vector! Even as we speak, Astral is using his growing strength to threaten Barian World. If that is true, then the fault is entirely yours. How could I be to blame? After all, I'm the one who tried to stop Astral. You tried and failed. And now, thanks to your recklessness, Yuma and Astral have grown stronger than ever. I was defending our world, while you seem to be obsessed with Kai and his galaxy eyes. I'd never do anything so foolish. Feel the wrath of my galaxy eyes, and we will see who the foolish one is. This is not the time, Mizar. As you know, Astral has long been a threat to us. Many ages ago, he even defeated our great deity, Don Thousand, and cast him into the depths of the Great Barian Sea. If he continues absorbing numbers, he'll soon be in a position to completely destroy Barian World. But never fear, Vector is here! I have learned of a way we can stop him. How is that? There are seven Metherian numbers that are scattered across the human world. When we acquire them, we can wield their power and use them to crush Astral. How did you learn all of this, Vector? Huh? What a repulsive looking insect! Hey, don't be rude! You think I enjoy coming back as a fly? Let me tell you, it stinks, especially when I land on garbage! This creature's fate was sealed till I decided to bring him here. Say hello to Mr. Heartland! It's unfair! Why did you have to bring me back in this form? The only reason I brought you back at all was to get the latest buzz! For such a tiny pest, he delivered big time! Heartland was full of useful intel that will lead us to the numbers we need. He told me about seven previously unknown numbers hidden in the human world. There are 23 different locations where the numbers could be squirreled away. If your information is correct, then it is imperative we find those numbers before Astral does. We could discover something else. If we travel to the human world, we may find clues that could lead us to Nash. To Nash? Yes. It seems like only yesterday we seven Varian Emperors had our ranks reduced to five when our fearless leader Nash and Marin disappeared from Varian World. We may be led to our lost friends as we explore the dimensional doorways. Vector is right. Dumon, we must split up and begin our search immediately. Mm. This had better work, Vector. And now, to wake up our two sleeping uglies. I'm cutting your power nap short, which should make you extra cranky. We're going to need both of you for this mission. You'll soon have a chance to help me get even with you, my Astral. anything, Rio? Not so far. I'm sure I felt a disturbance before, but I can't sense it now. Meaning we came up here and skipped lunch for nothing. Quit griping or we'll skip dinner, too! No, not dinner. I'm sorry. It's strange that you all sensed it at the same time, don't you think? Ah! <sighs> Looks like we have a visitor. Ship, how about a heads up? I am sorry, but this matter is rather urgent. I was here on the deck when this planetary map unexpectedly appeared. There are ancient ruins at each of the marked locations, and more importantly, there are seven numbers hidden there. Seven numbers? Along with the map, there was also an important message. Hello, you. Astro. Huh? Hey, that's my dad! If you're seeing my message, the situation is much worse than I had hoped. This map shows seven ruins. Inside of each is one of the seven Metherian numbers. These cards are unlike any you have ever seen, and if they fall into Barian hands, an ancient evil will destroy everything you have been fighting for. 
That is why you must get those numbers before the Barians can. I know you can do it. In fact, I'm counting on it. Dad! Man, I wish you were here right now. Your father has great faith in you, as do I. Astral, there's no way I'll let my dad down. I'm going after all those numbers. And nothing's gonna stop me! That goes for me, too. Those Baryan jerks rub me the wrong way. I'd love to take a bite out of their plans. You're coming, too? Which means that I'll have to go watch out for my big brother. So, how soon do you all want to leave? I'd say the sooner we get going, the better, Rio! Thanks, you guys. All right. Astral, lay out a course for the first sight. This airship's going full throttle! <laughs> Where did you disappear to? We could truly use your help now! These lightning blasts are too close for comfort! Yeah... There appears to be some strange force at work. Huh? What's that? has been damaged. Without it, I won't be able to use my full powers here. If only I'd been more alert. I didn't spot that ship until it was too late. I'm sure it was Astral's. This mission is not off to a good start. Huh? Ah! That's Yuma. Keep your paws to yourself. couldn't bear the thought of taking me on. Uh, huh? uh, 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 hey, are you okay? Careful, Yuma. Better keep your distance from that guy. Reginald Castle! What's wrong? You know this person? Well, no, not really. I saw that he was in trouble and jumped in to help. Yeah, I figured as much. But seeing as we crashed into some kind of energy being on the ship, I'm wondering if that being could be him. I don't know what you mean. My name's Nash, and I'm here on vacation. You don't really expect us to believe that, do you? It is quite possible this stranger is a Barian. Gee, guys, he doesn't look like a Barian. I mean, why would a Barian need glasses? They don't. That's the idea. They're in disguise, Yuma. You are so completely clueless and... <gasps> ah! Hey, that's Tori! <gasps> These are the ancient ruins we seek, Yuma. One of the seven numbers we're looking for must be inside. So, Yuma and Astro must be looking for the Metherian numbers, too. Ah! Yuma, help! It's Tori! <laughs> Hang on, Tori! Huh? find that number before they do. But I do not have enough strength to find it myself. I will have to keep this ruse up and follow along for now. This should teach you not to play with snakes, Tori. We were playing with them, Yuma! They attacked out of nowhere! Someone's trying to keep something safe. These passages have been totally sealed off. Then we'll have to bust through. That's, That's not, not good. good. Trapped! Huh? Everyone calm down. Keep your eyes and ears open for trouble. <sighs> ah! Reginald! Reginald! Hey, Shark! 
you there? Where else would I be? <sighs> Something tells me this is only gonna get worse. Uh? Hey, Shark! The passage on our side opened up! Same thing on our side. It looks like we'll have to split up for the time being. You came across Nash in the forest? Yeah, he told us that he's just visiting here on vacation. Shark and Astral are convinced it isn't true. They think he's a Baryon. Huh? A Baryon? Yeah, but forget about it. Don't worry, Tori. I think that they're wrong. But if they're right, it means we let him straight to the number. Thanks for saving my skin back there. But don't get the wrong idea. Doesn't mean I trust you. Fact is, I still think that you might be the enemy. Think what you like. I only saved you because I owed your friend for saving me. Hmm. Fair enough. Looks like we've come up empty. There's no way ahead and nothing here. <laughs> On second thought, we may have discovered a trap. This place is amazing. It seems to be some kind of temple. There, above that statue. Oh, is that a card? That could be the number we're looking for. <laughs> Who are you? I am Mok, the guardian charged with protecting the number. He is a number guardian? Mach is an incredibly powerful entity. I can sense the number's force radiating from him. No doubt you have come here seeking to possess this number. It will never be yours unless you can vanquish me in a duel and prove that you are truly worthy of possessing it. Well, I never turned down a duel. You're on, Mach! Duel this, go! Duel gazer, let's roll! Augmented reality vision link established. Duel! Stay on your toes, Yuma! Let us see how your skill and character fare when put to the test. It begins now! I will first place a monster face down in defense mode, and then I place two more cards face down, ending my turn. Which makes it my move! Remember, this is no ordinary opponent. That's for sure. There is a price to be paid for failure. If you do not pass your test, the number will remain here, along with two of your companion souls. What do you mean? Uh... Ah! Shark and Nash, where are they? It looks like they're in trouble. Unless we think of something fast, we're not walking out of here. Oh, Reginald! Hey, keep them out of this! Let them go free! Only by surrendering can you lead your companions to freedom and find victory. Victory through surrender? If we do not solve this riddle, I fear our quest could be over before it has begun. Me surrender? Never! I'll fight full out till I get that number and save Shark and Nash! I'm gonna get things rolling by summoning Gaga Ga Magician! And whenever I have a Gaga Ga monster on my field, I can also summon this little fella. Its special ability instantly activates, which means I can change this little guy's level to match Gaga Ga Magicians. So the kid gets a boost, so it's at level four as well. All right then, now that I have two level four monsters. Yuma. You were gonna remind me that if I use them to summon Utopia, it won't be able to attack this turn. But I'm way ahead of you, which is why I'm activating Gaga Ga Tag. This spell ups the attack points of both my Gaga Ga monsters by 500. Yuma will now attack with his Gaga Ga monsters so that he may summon Utopia at the end of his turn. It is a sensible move, and yet, I fear this guardian will not yield so easily. I promise, I'm gonna get you out of there, no matter what it takes! 